Welcome to episode two of the Schmo and the Pro video podcast. My guest today, we got Nick Cordelis. What's up, guys? Of the San Diego Goals of the American Hockey League. Thanks for having me, Schmo. Appreciate it. The Schmo, what's up, buddy? Nick, baby! Second round pick in the 2012 NHL draft. That's it. Yep, Anaheim Ducks. Anaheim Ducks getting a taste of the big leagues last year, getting called up. Yeah, it was a good experience for me. I got my first game in and uh, got a win during it, and it was awesome having family and friends there. Only 24 years old. You got a lot more time in the pros. Yeah, yeah, I got plenty of time, right? But you know, that's why the Schmo's here. We're going to get you to the professional level. I need all the help I can get, Schmo. Squeeze. <sighs> that's what we're here for. You're a lefty, huh? Yep, lefty in golf and in hockey. And golf, we're in Southern California, and what are you doing playing hockey? You know what? I don't know. I think uh, while I'm here, I can play some hockey and some golf on the side so I get the best of both worlds. Now, we're right here at your place in Pacific Beach. Yep. Living right near the water and on the beach, living the life over here. Yeah, I can't get tired of this view here. We got the beach right over there, and uh, you know, it's Cali, SoCal living. You're the first American player born in Orange County to play for those hometown Anaheim Mighty Ducks. I believe that is true. Yep, and uh, it's an honor for that. And, you know, I grew up rooting for the Ducks, so the fact that I got to play for them is pretty cool. When you first got that call up to the pros, who's the first person you called on your cellular device? Uh, my mom. I'm a mama's boy. <laughs> I gave her a call and uh, she was happy. What was the reaction? Um, I think she didn't believe me at first. <laughs> that was the reaction, but uh, she was definitely happy and uh, emotional at the same time. Now, you were smart. You went away to Wisconsin played in the Midwest, yep. a little colder out there to get your hockey in. Exactly. What uh, was your first winter like? Oh, it was tough. I mean, uh, I didn't really know what snow was. I grew up out here, like you said, so, um, you know, it was a little cold and uh, took some bumps and bruises on the ice and on the snow. And, you know, it was a good experience, but I'm happy to be in SoCal right now. Show the camera this scar right here on your forearm right there. That yeah. looks like a hockey injury to me. Yep, right there. Yeah, t t talk to me about this one. Well, yeah, it was a hockey injury, but I like to tell people, you know, I saved the kid when he was, a shark was going after him, got bit by a shark and uh, that kind of stuff. It's obviously a lie. Um, got cut by a skate when I was younger, and uh, there's nothing more to it. Nothing more to it than that? No, really. I'm they didn't stitch you up in the best of ways. No, they didn't. They really messed that one up. So too bad I wasn't a pro hockey player at that time. Uh, workers' comp's not covering that one. <laughs> Better on your form than on your neck. That's for sure, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I'd still be alive if that was on my neck. That happened to a hockey player once where the yeah. skate got there. Malarchuk. Oh man, that's pretty brutal, huh? Yeah, that's a gross video if you watch that. So kids, don't watch that. Don't watch that video. <laughs> don't use the YouTube. Now look at you over here, Nick. You're dating a reality TV star, Savannah Chrisley. Chrisley knows best. Yep. She's got like 1.5 million more followers than you. <laughs> She's more true. famous than you. That's true, and that might be better for me. I like being in a you know, like low, hidden place, and she can be the famous one, and uh, I'll just be the guy uh, behind the camera. <laughs> now, how did you meet her? Um, she's gonna kill me for saying this, but she reached out to me on social media. She slid in my DMs. DMs, was it Instagram? It was Instagram. It was Instagram, okay. Day after Thanksgiving, so I uh, thought I woke up from a hangover from being full and it was actually really there and I was like, who's this girl, so. How did you know she was real though? She wasn't just like some Jersey chaser. I think when we FaceTime, no. I mean, I knew she was a real person when we FaceTime because I didn't know about her at first, but uh, she came out here probably a month later and. It was pretty ballsy of her to do that, but um, she came out here and uh, had a great time together, and uh, she's really down to earth, you know, normal girl. So, so it was Apple who solidified it that she was real because you can't FaceTime unless it's an iPhone iPhone connection. Correct. We both use iPhones. Big Apple fans. Um, but yeah, that's it. We'll pay a tribute to Steve Jobs, the legend. Steve Jobs. 
she a big hockey fan or did you convert her into being a hockey fan? I uh, converted her actually, yeah. She didn't watch much hockey from what she told me before me. Um, and now she's a big fan. She's learning. She's learning the rules as we go. And uh, yeah, she's enjoying watching the playoffs and things like that. I'm sure she's advocating for you to get the call up to the pros on a full-time basis. Yep, I think so. She's uh, one of the big supporters for me. and. She's almost a bigger fan of myself and, you know, a bigger supporter than I am of myself than she is. So, yeah. Well, that's I didn't make sense there, so we you can cut that it. out. But that's okay. She's a big support big system. Big support system for me. Believes in me more than I believe in myself at times. But she's a good person. But let's set the record straight for all the Schmo fans out there. No one has more confidence in Nick Cardillas than... Myself. Nick <laughs> Cardillas. <laughs> that's true. Ah! If you were a mighty duck, now I'm not talking skill-wise, position-wise, but personality-wise, are you more of a Bash brother or like a Goldberg? Definitely not a Goldberg. I don't go in the net. Um, I ha try to have a good diet, um, but uh, Bash Bros, I don't think I'm there either. I think I'm more of a Charlie Conway. You know, I try to score some goals, triple deke, things like that. Yeah. Let the play do the exactly. talking. Exactly. That's what I try to do. Out yeah. Of. You got more of a modern cut than him, though. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I try to work on this here and there. Your nose looks like it's been broken. Yeah. Quite a thanks few for times. pointing that out to the fans it's here. It's okay. Appreciate You're that. a hockey player. I broke it actually a couple months ago again. So I've, I've had a little issue, a couple issues with my nose. But your teeth look okay. Yes, they're still there. Knock on wood. There's no wood here. Knock on wood for me, please. But uh, yeah, they're still here for now. Now the Schmo's doing hockey, and he's got a good-looking hockey player next to him. Oh, appreciate that. That was a compliment right there. It was a compliment. Yeah. By the way, everybody, this is where we pay the sponsors. The Schmo and the Pro is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. The Schmo uses the Ridge Wallet. Look at this thing. Titanium made, indestructible, bulletproof. So what everyone needs to do is go to ridgewallet.com and put Schmo, S-C-H-M-O, and check out and get themselves one. Nick, I got you a Ridge Wallet, except what? I'm not gonna give you the money, it's the Schmo's money, but That's here's your fine. Ridge Wallet. Wow. It's great. Appreciate that. Team. Yo, your cards, your life's never gonna be the do same. I, do I gotta keep Things your cards or no? The, oh, the cards? Yeah, we'll, we'll take, you know, we gotta take those out oh, too. Okay. But this was for you, you know, I know you like black. Ah, money. Black, you know, money, I love but, it. There Thanks you go. for that, buddy, I appreciate it. Yeah, ridgewallet.com slash schmo, S-C-H-M-O, get 10% off at checkout, free worldwide shipping. Life will never be the same. Go get yours, guys. Go get it. Go get yours. Now, this is a big off season for you. Yep. You Cheers. had your two-way contract that you signed yep. with those ducks. It's up now. Yep. Free agent. Yep. What are you going to do in the off season to prepare you for the next season? You know what? Uh, take a couple weeks off here, uh, enjoy some time, and then get back to it. You know, I'm, we, we should be in playoffs right now. We're not here. I'm going to be a free agent this summer, work my butt off in the weight room, uh, be in Nashville a little bit, be in Wisconsin a little bit, you know, just get after it this summer, see what happens, where I land. The most underrated sports story of the entire year no one's talking about is this expansion team, Las Vegas Golden Knights. Can you believe that? Uh, I don't think anybody would believe that this would happen. Uh, they're a good team. You can watch them on TV. They're good defensively, score some goals. They've got great fans, it looks like, and uh, they got a good chance this year. What's been the difference maker for a club like that? Literally just drafting all new bodies, new faces, yeah. all coming together. So their chemistry just must be off the charts. Yeah, I mean, they play in a great city. I think there's a lot of excitement there, a new team. So they got great fans that are interested in it. And uh, I don't know, I think they're just enjoying their time probably. I have a couple buddies on that team and, uh, you know, they're just, they're enjoying hockey right now and they're playing good hockey, so good for them. Now you play over in San Diego over there at the old complex where the San Diego Clippers once played. How's the facilities over there? Um, you know what, out of other teams in the AHL, it's, it's not bad. Uh, we get, we seat about 13,000 in there and we fill it up most nights, so it's, uh, it's a good atmosphere to play in. and. Uh, we have a good practice facility out in Poway and uh, one of, probably one of the best in the league, so can't complain about it. So the AHL, the American Hockey League, yeah. that's kind of like the D League or the Developmental League, the G League of the NBA. Exactly. What's life like being a player? A lot of travel. Yeah. Where do you guys stay? Uh, so we don't have the best. I mean, we have it better than other teams do because we fly a lot too, but it's not a chartered plane. It's not the Ritz-Carlton, things like that, but... At the end of the day, they take care of us, and uh, we stay at places like the Hilton Garden Inn or the Double Trees, things like that. Not bad. 
uh, share a room, get some bonding time with the, with the teammates, and uh, it's not a bad time. Not a bad time at all. Could be better, but not a bad time. Not a bad time. Nick, the Schmo's about to show you a good time. We're in for a great treat right here. We're on Pacific Beach. It's the off season. How about we do some Schmoga? Let's do it. Take out your hand just like this. Meet me here, the diamond cutter. It's wide, wide. Now I want you to push against each other. And now push some resistance here. You feel that? Oh yeah. Engage those forearms. Yeah. Now we're gonna do it on our own. Take here, right over here, the diamond cutter. And squeeze up all the way. Oh yeah. All the way. Now look at me, look at me, Nick. Stretch out to a T. Hulk it up, brother. And hulk it up, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You feel that everywhere. Let's get those hands up to the sky. Let's get that diamond cutter. Okay. Huh? And feel it and engage. Oh. Don't let me do that. You're engaging. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's good. Count it up. Five, four, three, two. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And up. Schmoga. Nick Cordelis, everybody, on the Schmo and the Pro. I think the Vegas Golden Knights could do it this year. The Golden Knights? Yeah.